Hey, blessed be it's the Obia Witch, and today I wanted to share with you my portable altar kit, which I will show you. This is a pencil case, which I bought at the club. All this stuff fits within this, and then I will take it with me when I go hiking. This is the little bitty leather pouch I use, and inside of it I actually have bird seed, which I have some right here. I use the bird seed to represent land and also to be an offering to the spirits of the place. And then I have a little bitty chalice, which I use for the sea, or in the ancestors, and then a feather, which I use for the sky and for the deities. And then I have this, which I use as kind of like a wand to direct energy if I'm doing such things. And then some crystals, some oak leaves, and a little bitty altar cloth that I just lay right onto the ground. And so then fit right into my little thing, and I just carry them with me when I go. Also, when I'm out in nature, I create a nematon. I don't actually cast a circle like many Wiccans do. And creating a nematon is just simply honoring a sacred grove with the three realms. That's all you do. So I will walk around sprinkling bird seed, which represents the land, and I'll say, Blessings of the spirits of nature upon this grove and all within it. Then I'll walk around with water, which normally I'll get from a natural source and sprinkle it around saying blessings of the ancestors upon this grove and all within it. Then I might walk in a circle around the altar with my feather, sweeping it out and saying blessings of the shining one upon this grove and all within it. Once I've blessed the space, if I'm doing a more Wiccan style ritual, I might um, call the four directions. Then I might also say the Druid's Prayer, which the, which is you can find in many different books and stuff if you look. And that's it. And then when I leave the grove, I will simply ask that any energy left over the walking would be returned to Mother Earth for its blessing. Real, real simple. I'm not blocking off the energies of nature because in Druid Ritual we don't create a spear of energy around us. Instead, our circles open to the land and the sea and the sky. So we just create a nematon, which is simply honoring the realms. And then if I've called the quarters, I would release them, of course. And that's really it. Thank you, blessed beings.